Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth episode of my tutorial on circles for bioinformatics. In this video, I'll show you how to generate this circles plot here. All right. So this is a genome annotation data. Okay, so it's a microbial genome, basically. So this is what you have. So the data here is the genome annotation. Okay, of Macrobacterium isolate. So let me just give you the reference sequence for Macrobacterium constraints. All right, that is AJY99. And so I'll quickly explain this plot and then we can look at how to generate this using circles. So the outer circle represents the ideogram. Right now, for this organism, it's a single chromosome. Right, and so you may ask why I have two different colors here representing the ideogram. The ideogram represents the chromosome. Right? So the two colors here is more like a design. I chose to do that just to let you know that for a single chromosome, it's still possible to highlight certain regions of it using different colors. But I can choose to use a single color. That's also fine. So that one, it's up to you. But I just thought I will let you know that it's possible to highlight uh, different regions of a chromosome. Okay, so we use what you call bands, cytogenic bands. We will talk about that later, but you can choose to use a single color, that's also fine. Now, let's go to the inner circles. The inner circles. So we have this one here representing CDS4 strand. We also have this representing CDS reverse strand. We also have the black, black here representing mobile elements. We also have the green one here representing GC plots, and this one represents GC skew. All right, so all these are things you can visualize using circles. Okay, so it helps you to understand your data. So that's what we are going to do. I'm going to show you how to generate this plot, but let's first look at the original figure first. I think I will switch to browser. I think it's supposed to be here. Yeah. So there's a page, all right? I'll leave the link to this page in the discussion box. I think I open the PDF here, yeah. So let's look at it. So let's go down to the image itself. So there's what I am reproducing using circles. Of course, there is a slight difference between what I will generate and what is here, okay, but you can always customize to get the exact, the exact figure. Right. So we have the image here. We have the scale area. Uh, yeah. We have the outer one. And then you can also notice that here we also have a scale. I forgot to mention it. So the scale is here. Okay, it's representing the intervals, but mine is 1 MB. Okay, so that's why you saw 1 MB, 2 MB, 3 MB. That's for the interval, the scale. Right. So that one, you can customize it to suit your needs. And we have the CDS forward and reverse mobile elements. And then we have the GC plus GC skill. Okay, so basically the explanation is here. Everything is here. So you can reach this paper. So there's the chromosome, there's the plasma, but I'm focusing on the chromosome itself. Right. So that's what I'm going to generate using circles. All right. So let's proceed. So the codes I'm going to use, I've already prepared them. So if you want them, you can download them. I'll leave the link to the page where you can download them and the scripts right and make sure you also have circles installed i have a tutorial that shows how to install circles so make sure to do that so i have my python codes and i also have my other scripts the circles commands in these other files here so you need to make sure you have python installed and you should also have bio python and this is the input data agy9.gb so this data you can find it on the ncbi website this is a page i'll leave the link to this page in the description box so if you also have your own data you can also use the same scripts to generate a circus plot all right i will advise that if you are going to use on your own data the length of that sequence okay should be around the same number as this then at least you are sure that the code is going to refer but anyway you can still reach out to me if you want Further cost for customizing your. So if you have your own data, which is on NCBI, you can just come to this site, for example, send to 
then come to complete record make sure this is checked when you come to choose destination make sure file is checked okay file then when you come to format make sure it's gembank for we have gembank we have gembank for i'm using gembank for this one here and then you can click on this one create file so when you click on create file it's going to download the data for you and then you can use it as an input so that's what we are going to do now let's get back since i already have the data already downloaded i can proceed so i have my gembank file here all right and i have these other ones i will explain this briefly as we move along so if you have your gembank file then what you need to do is to first get the features all right so there's the python script that will read the gembank file and get the features for you so i'll just open here for you to see it's a simple code that you can use so you need to also make sure that you have this one here by your python in this one you don't really need it it's not necessary you don't need that one so you need to make sure you have bio python installed so make sure you have bio python installed and then specify where the file is ideally i would recommend you put everything in the same directory or the same folder like this one here then that one all that you have to do is to specify the file name like i've done here put them in quotes so it can be single quotes or double quotes put them there then basically that's it so once you are done all these ones you don't need to do anything so just specify the file make sure you have installed by your python and then run this code so when you run it it's going to display all the features so we have identified features and it gives you all these ones so we have source trn region mobile element repeat region all these all right so that's what you are so for the data not for the scripts all right cds will be highlighted that's foreign rivers will be highlighted and then dc plots and this is two and then there's another trap for extra feature an extra feature which is this one here. so if let's say how i am interested in mobile elements then i take note of that then i can modify that information in the other script so let's say for example i'm interested in mobile elements then what i have to do is to make sure i have that i'm taking note of that and then i can come to extract info this other python script here All right so open it and when you open it yes you have this so what you have to do is to come to feature of interest then just make sure to do this put everything in quotes okay feature of interest okay it's like this and let's see mobile elements it should be in quotes okay make sure the spelling the same it's very important it's mobile elements but you can also do a copy and paste into this quote here the quotes are also important make sure they are there so that's basically it all the other quotes you don't need to do anything but if you're an advanced python user you can always modify the stuff and then customize it or if you have the script you can also let me know you can see how to customize it for your own so that's basically about it and then after that you can run the code all right but you should take note of this one. So now we have one, two, three, four. If you run the code, we have additional files generated, which I will show now. So come to run and click on run model. Then you can run it. So when you run it, you have this displayed, which shows the character information discard. But other files are also displayed. They are they are generated. So we have This file generated, we have a total of five more file generated. So we have CDS forward highlight, forward dot highlights, CDS reverse highlights, feature of interest, GC plot, and GC skew. So these files are going to be generated. So these are the files. Once they are generated, you can run the circles.conf script. Okay, now all the commands for generating it have been created already in the circles.conf, ideogram, error type, and then text. Okay, a detailed explanation of these 
will be done in other videos or probably if you want more details you can also reach out to me and then we can look at how to because circles that's a pretty extensive document so if you want detailed explanation of all the scripts all the commands in the various files then you can always switch us now for now i will advise that you just run circles all right so once you have gotten your files you just need to run circles so i'll open my terminal okay when you open the terminal make sure you have seeded into the directory which has all the files it's very important okay so i'm already there so i'll just do an ls to make sure i have all these files and then i'm going to run circles so i'll say circles dash conf and i'll say circles.conf just configuration file and i'm going to execute the command all right so i'll do it and then once i do it you'll find some text being displayed and then the plot is going to be generated okay it doesn't take much time just a few seconds and then that'll be it so now it is done so if i do an ls now i'll see some figures here okay circle.png circle.l so all i have to do is just come and then check it out so i have that here okay and then i'll just open it like this okay so this is it this is how it's going to be now you notice that here the colors are blue white sorry the colors are red white okay so i can customize it i can just come and change it here in the get feature scripts okay so this is the beauty of automation so here it's white and red but i can just change it to blue here and this one this one so i can just click if it's blue and red i can just change it to blue red and i can rerun it so i'll just rerun then after rerunning i will just come to circles here again just rerun this command again so i'll rerun it and once i rerun the old figure will be replaced with a new one all right so the new one will take into consideration the color that i specified so let's go back and then let's open it and you see that the color has changed so now we have red blue red blue which is also very cool now if you don't want any color at all to if you want just a single color then you can also modify this one here let's just go back you can modify the ideogram then change it here so you can come to show bands good to know then you can just save it so when you go to show bands new and you save it then you can rerun circles when you rerun it let's rerun it circles will be run and then when it's run then we're going to find that the colors would have changed so let's go back to the figure Yes, now you can see something like this. Just what you are going to see. Now, if this color is also very thick, okay, then all I have to do is to just open the conf. Then you can just not the conf, you can use the ideogram rather. So all I have to do is open the ideogram where we modify the first option here, then come to thickness this one you can change this let's say 10 10 10 p to this one here so 10 p save it and then come back to circles and then rerun it so when you rerun it then it's going to factor in the chain that you made again then give you the appropriate plots it takes a few seconds then you can go back then we can open it so when you open it you will see that the thickness has reduced so you can customize it a bit okay without you having to modify all the all the codes just a few portions of it then that will be fine okay so this is how we do it okay so this is how we use circles to visualize the microbial genomes okay now with this output you realize we have this and we also have this svg 
Okay. Now with the SVG, it's possible for you to modify it further. For example, if let's say I want to add additional information, additional text, I can open it with tools like Inkscape. Okay, so when you open it, then you can do your modification. So I have my open here. Yes. So when it's here, okay, you can you can zoom in or zoom out. Okay, something like this. You can even modify it, add some text. Okay, you can click, you can drag. There are things you can do, but that is beyond the scope of this. But you can modify, add text, come here, do a lot of stuff here once you have opened the SVG. So that's something that you can actually. So that's circles for you. So I'll switch back to this one. See. Okay, so we are back. So that is it. Okay. So this is how we use circles to visualize annotated features of Macrobia genomes. But there are more tutorials that I'll be making as well. Okay, so I'm making other tutorials which are very good, which are cool. So this is a series that I'm doing to let you know how to visualize data and also how what information you can visualize in order for you to better understand your genome. So I'll see you in the next session.